Hello, Miss Stokes here, and this is a video to show you how to create a photo grid in Photoshop. Firstly, you're going to want to edit your photos by cropping to a square size on your phone. So go into your phone, use the editing facilities and crop to a square. And think about the composition and arrangement. You can also play with the colours and edit them up how you would like. Airdrop these to the Mac, so you can use Photoshop or your laptop if you've got Photoshop on there. Open Photoshop and then we need to create a piece of paper to work on. Click Custom and you need to create it 50 by 76 centimetres. This is for when we're going to send it to the printer. Make sure it's centimetres and then also make sure that it says 300 dots per square inch. So dots, uh, pixels per square inch, so DPI. Then you should have a nice plain piece of paper to the size we need and press create. We're now going to create a grid to help us size our images in a lovely grid. Click view and then go down to new guide layout. In the columns type 4 and in the rows click 3 and click OK and this should create a nice blue lines to help you grid out your photographs evenly and in order. Then you need to upload some photographs to uh, Photoshop so go to where you've stored them on the computer, highlight them and simply drag them into Photoshop. So highlight and then drag into Photoshop. They'll Upload one by one and then we need to resize them. So it's a little bit like words so You can kind of drag them and resize them So use the little squares at the corners to create, you know, create the shape and the size you want and just copy How I've kind of laid out my images you'll see as I gradually add image after image You'll add 12 images. I know I said nine for the prep But some of you've probably got a couple more that you can't make a decision on so you can add throw those in when you're arranging your images, you want to think about composition, you want to think about the colours, you want to think about the meaning in relation to one another. So you'll gradually see here how I build up image after image and you can use the arrows on the keyboard if you're finding it hard to place with the mouse to get it perfectly in shape. So I'm using the keyboard there to kind of create the spaces between um, my images. To make the resizing a little easier, I line up the corner with the previous image and then drag it down and line it up. After a bit, that it becomes easier the more images you have, so you can line things up with one another. An important tool to use on Photoshop is free transformation. As you can see here, there's a blue line and little squares surrounding the image, which allows me to transform and resize my image. If you lose that, the way to get it back is by hitting Control T and this will allow you to freely transform your image a little bit like Word when you click on an image on Word. As you can see there, I'm just subtly resizing it. Then you'll need to press Enter to get rid of the squares and the shape around it. This is kind of what I want you to create, a nice grid of images considering the colour and the composition and how they interact with one another. And an image that is ready to print. So now I need you to click file, then save, save to my computer. And here what's important is to save it somewhere where you know, and then name it your name and photo grid. And we need to save this as a Photoshop file. So you can see file type, and then if you scroll to the top, it will be Photoshop file. And then you click save. Then on the second box, you just need to click OK. So click save, make sure the layers are there, click save, then click OK, and that should be saved wherever you've saved it. Maybe save it onto the desktop, and then you can send it to me, and put, I can put it into the file to send it to be printed. So hopefully we'll be able to have a lovely exhibition of all these photo grids that you've created to help you start your personal investigation.